let me illustrate the, the next thing here in the services space. So one of the things that we're able to do now with this portal is, to, as I said, open doors to different groups. So we have the ability to open up service requests to see where something is in process, to see who's assigned, to see what is going on with a particular service, and actually even to request a service. So I requested a service for a Pi interface installation in our Philadelphia office. So if I actually click into the service itself, and I can see my request when I made it, and the current status, and it's currently in the scoping status, when I'd like it to be done, the language, various pieces of information, anything I've attached, my infrastructure, any diagrams, any procedures for my particular company. As this moves through the process, it'll become scheduled, and then you'll actually be able to see who was assigned, when was it scheduled, when should you expect them, who will be contacting you. All that information is presented here. And if I go back to the actual service, all the open services, and one of the things I want to point out is you actually now can directly request a service from the portal. And this becomes a, another way in which we've enhanced our interactions with our customers. You can see I can pick certain types of services I can request here. These are mainly your installation and training services. If you have a need for any advanced training or any advanced services or those kinds of discussions, reach out to your CSM or EPM in order to, or account manager in order to do that, and they can then request the more advanced work. One thing to note here is I'm going through, let me pick up, uh, I want to do an interface installation. You'll also see here the data sheets for all the installations that give you, and I'll click in through here, that give you the data sheet and the things that you can expect us to do, the approximate timelines, our requirements, so you understand up front what we'll be asking you for as we go through a scoping exercise.